The Worshipful Society of Apothecaries has a long and fascinating history. It's been a progressive force in medicine for four centuries, doing groundbreaking work, a tradition that continues to this day and one they're proud of. They're advancing modern healthcare all over the world and tackling some of today's most challenging medical issues. And most importantly, they're inspiring a new generation of medical students to achieve great things. But to fully understand the Society of Apothecaries, we need to understand its pioneering past. If you got sick in the Middle Ages, when physicians were very expensive and few and far between, you'd probably need to see an apothecary. The apothecary would tell you what was wrong and he would sell you a medicine. But apothecaries were untrained and unregulated. So by 1617, respected apothecaries, like Gideon de Lorne, who was the son of a Huguenot refugee, gained royal approval for this society. The society was the first to guarantee its medicines and to credit the medical training of its apprentices. These new professionals did so well that by 1704 they were recognised in law as doctors. The Apothecaries Act of 1815 required the Society to register all general medical practitioners and it was then able, through its licence, to ensure a high standard across England and Wales. Today, the Society, through its internationally recognised courses and its specialist postgraduate diplomas, is still ensuring high standards and it is now doing so across the world. The Society continues to encourage and educate medical professionals by offering innovative courses in the history, philosophy and ethics of medicine, a field that's vital in maintaining trust in the independence of the profession. Their Faculty of Conflict and Catastrophe Medicine offers unique training and qualification in the care of disaster victims and refugees. And this isn't just a valuable resource for civilian doctors, it's an essential requirement for British and Dutch Army medical officers too. The Society is proud to offer other high quality diplomas in specialist areas, not catered for anywhere else. It fills the gap in the established order. For instance, their diploma in HIV medicine is compulsory to all doctors who aspire to become NHS consultants in the subject. Their diploma in the forensic and clinical aspects of sexual assault is changing the way doctors and nurses support adult and child victims. And both qualifications were the first of their kind in the world. What's more, the Society's charitable work provides generous grants to students in every medical and pharmacy school in the UK. And by supporting the award-winning Outreach for Medicine programme, they're helping talented young people from state schools to pursue medical careers. So, as you can see, the Society of Apothecaries is much more than an historic institution with an old-fashioned name in a beautiful building steeped in history. It's a contemporary organisation striving to set and maintain the highest standards in medical learning and doing extraordinary work across the world. If you'd like to inquire about their courses or find out more about the Society's work, please visit apothecaries.org.